When Boonville's founder, Hannah Allison Cole, first put down roots on the banks of the Missouri nearly 200 years ago, she had no idea what a prosperous community would result from her first heroic efforts. Boonville honors its past as well as values its future. The city prides itself on preserving traditional family values, encouraging a rich cultural life, sustaining economic development, and nourishing the entrepreneurial spirit. Inspired by this heritage, the Hannah Cole Project set out to memorialize and celebrate the city of Boonville's pioneer mother. Basically, people are just proud of the fact that Hannah Cole started this. As you have the small town atmosphere, we have beautiful old tree-lined streets. If you want to live in an older home, an antique home, we have those. Boonville has lots of concerts and musical experiences, one of which is the Big Muddy the first weekend in April. We pull people from all over the United States to come and perform and who attend this. And it's a two-day affair and we fill Thespian Hall, our, our noted, world-noted theater. One lady in particular who's been most active with the Hanukkah Project is talking about she had what she called an epiphany when we had a parade with the JCs, and her four-year-old daughter walked down Main Street and everybody yelled and screamed and the little girl waved and knew most of the people. And mom and dad said, there really is a place in the world where you do know everybody. This is where we want to move. During the first two weeks of June 2004, Boonville celebrated its historic past with a series of cultural events. The descendants of Hannah Cole held their 70th family reunion in Boonville. Family members from across the country gathered to renew family ties and swap stories. It sure is great to have all the family here. Uh, we've had reunions for 70 years now, and uh, there were a lot of people here today at our reunion that were at the first one when it was a picnic. Hannah Cole's great great-grandson and his family who had lived in Missouri all their lives had moved to California and stayed a few years and they moved back to Missouri and when they came back his wife said uh, why don't we have a picnic and have the, the relatives and friends to come to the picnic so we did that's how our coal union started that was in 1932